Hey guys, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and we are outside of the cockpit of an Air Tractor 502 Ag plane. What we're talking about, action camera mounts, specifically this one right here. This is made by InFlight Cam. You can find them at inflightcam.com. And this is the suction cup cockpit mount. This, in my opinion, is an absolute marvel of engineering. This is awesome, and I like it for a lot of different reasons. First, the suction cup that's on the bottom. This is gonna stick to any flat, non-porous material. So here in the air tractor, I have the flat wall on the back. It works really well for that, as well as my side windows on the doors here. Those are all flat, unlike the curved window here. So it sticks really easily to those surfaces. It's really easy to use. It has this button on the side here that actuates. And what that's doing is it's actually sucking the air out of the bottom of the suction cup. So if I stick it on the back wall and just suction the air out of it, it stays right in place. Great feature, obviously you want it to stay. They do say on their website how this is meant for inside the cockpit. I'd love to know if someone has stuck this outside the cockpit and if you have, did it stay on the airplane? I don't know if it would. It does stick really well. The thing is, is that this arm is so long that it kind of gets some movement in it. So I think if you had it outside the cockpit, the camera would move. I don't think it's the greatest idea. They say not to do it. I wanna know if you've tried it. If you are interested in going outside the cockpit, they make a ton of other mounts for that purpose. And I've done videos on those, so definitely be sure to check them out. My favorite feature about this is how much adjustability there is in it. With just the knob on the side, if you loosen that, everything on this mount becomes completely free. And you can really position this in any direction, any angle that you want. I really couldn't believe it. But what I love about it is once you get it in that position, say that's your position that you want right there, all you have to do is tighten this knob on the side. And when you tighten it, all the joints on here tighten up and it's gonna stay in that position, which I don't know, I think that's incredible. Also what I like about this particular mount, the other ones, I mean, they're meant for airplanes and you may be able to find some other uses for them. But this one, I think, probably has the most uses that I can find besides specifically for the airplane. I mean, if you're gonna be boating, this would be really easy to just suction cup onto the side of a boat. On our motorcycles, I know that for sure, Callie's motorcycle with her tank, it'll definitely suction cup onto the side of her tank. Vehicles, campers, I don't know if I'd go 100 miles down the road with it, but if we're cruising canyons and there are some cool shots to get, this is definitely the mount that I'm gonna use for that purpose. However, like I said, in-flight cam does say this is meant for inside the cockpit. Use at your own risk, I guess, if you wanna try it outside. Also, with this suction cup mount, you're getting all of the high quality that you'd expect from other in-flight cam products. This entire arm is gonna be aluminum and stainless steel. The only plastic that's found on this is this suction cup body down here. One word that I would use to describe it is stout. This thing is gonna be a sturdy piece that's gonna last you for a very long time. Also, the way that the action camera attaches to the head, this is just quarter 20 thread. So if you have a tripod or an item like that, you can take this off and you can use it on that. So you don't have to just use it on this piece here, although this is all included. So what you see the camera attached to, that's what you're gonna get. Everything's included except obviously this camera here. This is a really neat piece that I think I'm gonna be able to use besides, again, just on an airplane. A great accessory that I found specifically with this mount, because when I mount it, I have it shooting out the front of the airplane and the propeller up front is always in my shot. This accessory works perfect. This is also from in-flight cam and this is a 58 millimeter ND8 prop filter. So if you've taken video in the past with the propeller in it, you may notice that you can see the prop as it's spinning around. It kind of looks weird. Well, this filter is actually gonna take that out so you're not gonna see those blades spinning around. What's nice about this is you don't necessarily need to use their 58 millimeter filter with their housing. This is 58 millimeter. So if you have other filters that you'd like to use, you definitely can. And this housing, in my opinion, is what's really nice. This is a full 
metal housing, just like everything they produce. It's really nice, really high quality, and it's gonna set right on the frame of the GoPro, and it actually has a set screw that's gonna keep it on there. So no matter how fast you're going or what you're doing, you're not gonna lose your filter, which I think we can all agree would suck. And with this particular housing, it is meant for the 3 Plus and the GoPro 4. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, specifically if you've used it in other applications, let me know how it worked out for you in the comments section below and Callie and I will get back to you. If you guys are curious to where Callie and I are or what the heck we're doing, hopefully we're not just bumming around doing nothing. But if you're curious, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.